away. Don't give it away. Claim it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for being here and ask you to be there until the last person votes for the next president. Staying up for. It is so great to be here in Raleigh, here at North Carolina State University. And I, I cannot imagine a better way of ending this campaign than having the opportunity to see all of you and to watch and listen to Lady Gaga. One of the most inventive, creative, and passionate performers whose range goes from A to Z and beyond. And I was watching on the screen not only her perform, but all of you jumping and singing and waving. It was great. Because you know what? That's what I want for America and the young people of America. The joy, the passion, the intensity of John Bon Jovi was with us. He was with us up in Philadelphia where he and Bruce Springsteen sang. And John said, well, hey, I want to go down to Raleigh. And so here he is. Between now and the time the poll closes tomorrow, we are going to be living on a prayer. I was really impressed when everybody's hand went up saying you'd already vote. Well, go find somebody else who hasn't voted, okay? Bring out your friends, your roommates, strangers on the street. Just stop and talk to them about what's at stake in this election because North Carolina is key and it's not only important for our election are you ready to elect Roy Cooper as your next Deborah 
about how absolutely consequential this election is, and of course it is. I, I really believe it's the most important election of our lifetimes because we've never had a clearer choice. Never. It is a choice between division or unity, between strong, steady leadership or a loose cannon who could risk everything. It's a choice between an economy that works for everyone, not just those at the top. And it, it is a choice that really goes to the heart of who we are as Americans. What I saw before I came in and what I see now is a sense of potential, of joy, there is no reason, my friends, why America's best days are not ahead of us if we reach for them together. We don't have to accept a dark and divisive vision for America. Tomorrow you can vote for a hopeful, inclusive, big-hearted, Our core values are being tested in this election, but my faith in our future has never been stronger. I love our country, and I believe in the American people. And I know if we bring everyone together, we can set goals, and we can move toward them, and we can feel that sense of accomplishment that comes with being part of something bigger than ourselves. of crisscrossing the country as I have in this campaign is meeting remarkable people. People who stand up against the odds. People who, like my late mother, people who understand that everybody gets knocked down. What matters is whether you get back up, whether you believe you can keep going. Last night in Manchester, New Hampshire,